2022, uh, actually, I think we performed a, a, probably a little bit better than what I expected. Um, we're 25 and six, um, barely lost in the conference championship game, 15-13, but got the at-large bid in as, a, as a third seed. So we had some huge wins, Grant and Hopkins, uh, a couple others that gave us a good strength of schedule, wins, and a uh, little disappointed we lost in the first round, but the other team definitely played better you know, that night. Uh, but with three freshmen on the court at different times, so really for three freshmen starting, uh, I thought it was a good season. Uh, I think that uh, what we still have uh, a transfer and five freshmen coming, so a third of our team is turning over, but we are getting Darian Dildy back, who tore her Achilles tendon uh, in preseason last year, second team all-conference player. If we had her last year, it might have been a, even a better season <laughs> than what we had. Uh, so we've got experience at a lot of positions and kids that have been in the fight and been there and are expecting to do well. Well, you know, starting off in the middle, we have, as I mentioned, we have Darian back and Haley Hoover back. Haley's a fifth year, uh, so she's in graduate school here. Uh, Riley Kimball on the outside uh, was uh, honorable mention all conference last year. Uh, had a phenomenal beach season, so I'm really looking for big things from her uh, this year. And uh, Kylie Des Deslores and um, Julia Vidalata, who were both the freshman pins last year, so they will be back. Um, and then at Labarra, we have a fifth year. And Kyla, Kyla Vaith. Uh, and our setters last year, we had a freshman setter in, a, in our 6 2. So now this year we have a junior and a sophomore setter. So Michaela Thompson and Sam Simmers. Uh, so we've got a lot of really good pieces returning. Well, we got Hopkins right down the street. <laughs> yep. So we play Hopkins every year. That was a big win for us last year. We got him at home. Uh, I think they went to the Sweet 16 last year, but we got him during the season. Played really well. Uh, Mary Warsh, who went to the Sweet 16 last year, they're on our schedule for our, for our quad match. Uh, Scranton uh, is on our schedule. We have, I think, six or seven NCAA teams from 2022 on our schedule to prepare us. Um, as along from, you know, and our MAC conference schedule, you know, we've got, you know, two years ago, four of us were regionally ranked. You know, so we've got four really strong programs in the MAC Commonwealth. Well, I, you know, I, my, one of the things I say to them constantly is you get what you expect. Uh, so we expect to do well. Uh, we've 11 straight bids at the NCAA tournament, so we're looking for number 12. And, and that obviously is a goal. Um, Eastern, unfortunately, has beaten us the last two years in the MAC Conference Championship by two points each time in the fifth set. Uh, that will be a big match on October 18th, uh, so, and we get them at home. So we're really you know, looking forward to that. Uh, the girls come in with a mentality that they want to work and they want to do well. We have girls that love volleyball and do great in school, and uh, I think that's a great mixture for success.